Welcome to CBS Mornings. I'm Nate Burleson. I'm Vladimir Dutin. And I'm Jerika Duncan. Gail and Tony are off, but we got you on this Friday. Here's today's eye opener your world in 90 seconds. Another police crackdown on campus protests against the war in Gaza. How President Biden's comments could carry political risks. Violent protest is not protected. Vandalism, trespassing, breaking windows, shutting down campuses. Powerful storms in Texas bring tornadoes, flash flooding, and mandatory evacuations. We're there with the latest. This is a life-threatening situation. A tanker fire shuts down one of America's busiest highways, causing severe damage. I heard a big bang, shook the house. My instant reaction was, is this another earthquake? A second whistleblower to raise concerns about the safety of Boeing has died after a sudden and severe infection. McConnell, the spin, unreal. NBA playoffs, the Pacers eliminate the Bucks. The Knicks with a thrilling series-clinching win over the 76ers. This war of attrition is won! jetted off to Wisconsin and Michigan to perform doing party tricks. Here he is asking the crowd for a pen. You think Biden can bend down like that? I don't think. This is where we are as a country. <laughs> the presidency of the United States could well come down to which old man can pick up a pen. <laughs> the debates are going to be scintillating. I'm Wolf Blitzer. Our next question is for both candidates. Given persistent inflation, which one of you gentlemen can climb into this doorless bathtub unassisted? This morning's eye opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. Hopefully they both can. Yeah, I mean, you <laughs> want to believe that, but hold on, Corbin. Not yet for the debates. <laughs> they will get here. Happy Friday. Thank you for joining us. We have a great show for you today. But we're going to start with weather with some severe storms and flooding that's getting even worse in Texas. Uh, Texas, many roads in the region are swamped, making driving impossible. The water in some areas are so deep, you can barely see the tops of garages. Meanwhile, a tornado injured at least two people yesterday in West Texas. Omar Villafranca is covering it all in Conroe, just north of Houston. Omar, good morning. Welcome back to CBS Mornings. I'm Nate Burleson with Jerika Duncan and Vlad Dutiek. Coming up this hour, a revealing conversation with Mark Summers. You remember him from Double Dare on Nickelodeon, but his life wasn't all good times and slime. And now he's telling his personal story. In this week's 48 Hours, a respected detective becomes a suspect in his wife's death. Nikki Batiste shares why an expert thinks he did not do it. And Steve Hartman and his kids are back for our latest edition of Kindness 101. Today's lesson is on leadership, and the teacher is a middle schooler. Look forward to that, but we begin this hour with the latest on the protests on college campuses over the Israel-Hamas war. At Portland State University, police clashed with demonstrators as they cleared an occupied library, echoing scenes we've seen on some other campuses. Now, nationwide, more than 2,000 people have been arrested in recent weeks. Lilia Luciano has been covering these protests for us. She discovered some of the strife comes not from the actions, but from the language being used on campuses. Up now, check out more of I Don't Know How and other songs and artists we feature here on our Spotify playlist. Just search for CBS Mornings Mixtape on Spotify or scan the QR code on your screen. And the name, guys, yeah. comes from Back to the Future. Oh. Doc Brown, yeah. Doc Brown, the Libyans. Oh. I don't know how, but they found me. That. That, 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 was, that was my answer when someone asked me why CBS Mornings hired me. I don't know how, but they found me. There you go. There go. Uh, all right, we'll We're see you Monday on CBS you. Mornings. Grace Bowers is here to play us out. Yeah. We'll see you back here on Monday. Let's take back a look at this week. A pro-Palestinian group was cleared out of an academic building on Columbia's campus in a massive police operation. It's the culmination of two weeks of protests against the war on Gaza. I'm just devastated that this has happened to every single campus in this country. These are just students. Los Angeles from the campus of UCLA, where police clashed overnight with protesters against the war in Gaza. There are hundreds of police officers here. There are hundreds of people inside this encampment. Interstate 95 outside New York City is shut down. This fiery crash severely damaged a bridge over the highway. We just heard a big bang, shook the house. My instant reaction was, is this another earthquake? Two 
Tony Award nominations. We're announcing some of them with Tony winning actors, Jesse Tyler Ferguson, along with the lovely Renee Elise Goldsberry. Do you guys remember what this day was like for you when the Tony nominations were coming up? Did you wake up going, I hope, I hope, I hope? I had food poisoning, so <laughs> I was sleeping, and my husband shook me awake and told me, yeah. I never believe when people say, you know, I was sleeping. I, I really know. was. You really were? I really were. I was not well. Do you like the physicality of it? Because number one, I do. it seems like they come up with all sorts of ways that we can see you with a shirt, without a shirt. <laughs> like even raising your arms like a little bicep yeah, pops up. Yeah, yeah. I like the physicality. It's fun. It's something different. I didn't get a lot of, you know, I got my, my tear ducts got to work out on This Is Us. That's about it. Yeah. So it's, 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 <laughs> what we got? A little music. Oh, hey, man. Hey. Hey, you feel like I'm on the beach right now. Yes, you will feel like you're on the beach or a quiet night for two. Vodka yes. soda, make it a double. You, <laughs> okay. There we go. The party we started. Buy. At CBSDeals.com. Hey. Hey. First of the month. Hey, Trigger, thank you for bringing the flavor. You I'm not saying you don't have it, but I'm saying. <laughs> Man. It wasn't a well, I'm here every day, bro. It's in the house. I'm here every day. I know, hey, bro. You? Born to be wild. The number one most popular driving song in 2024. Uh, that is the killer's uh, Mr. Brightside. My question is, what are you, if you're going on a road trip? There's only one answer. Are, it's Steppenwolf's Born to be Wild. <laughs> okay, I like that. I respect it. Right? Sure. Come on. I'm feeling very alone out here. As somebody, <laughs> not only has a mugshot related to a traffic incident, but was pulled over just last week for... Uh, last week? I was yeah, in a turn lane. It was only a warning. Everything was fine. My wife says I shouldn't drive anymore. Jim, because not only one of my heroes, but I am doing you, huh? to you, right now. What do you think about that? That's very good. Very good. I just <laughs> don't even like watching myself, just for the record. I, I'm not a look at me guy. guy. I, I think it's clear that a toaster is a kitchen appliance. Yeah, it is. I debate it is. this it with is. my wife. It is. I think it's clear to America that I'm one of the sexiest morning anchors in the world. <laughs> I, well, thank you. I can't, I can't I look at myself. I love my wife, my kids in baseball. Generic answers, do the Tony face. <laughs> This is a tie for a married man, okay? Yeah. <laughs> this is a married man tie.